Like, it feels like summer. Yeah, like, it, like, it feels like, it feels like, like good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you can smell the good vibes. It's mad. Down's like a drop, drop, drop. That's like what, 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 baby. Guys, what's up? Do you know what's so crazy? I wasn't actually gonna vlog today, and then I realized I look freaking cute. The weather is nice. I'm going out. Don't be lazy. So today I'm actually going to a Huawei event. And as you guys know, I'm a fucking Huawei ambassador. Got my watch on. Well, currently I've done 387 steps, but it's early, do you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, it's so hot today. I'm so excited. I've got a bit of color on. Let me give you a full of my outfit. When I did get it, I thought I was gonna wear like a top inside it and then have this over. But honestly, guys, it's so hot. There's just no need for that. So yeah, I'm just wearing this and I'm wearing sandals because yeah i was gonna wear heels but i can't bother to all of that they've ordered me a car which should be here in about 10 minutes so i'm gonna take you guys along with me yesterday guys i had such a cute day i was shooting content with annie i hired annie to help me create some videos because sometimes it's hard to create videos by yourself so sometimes you also need you know support so i actually hired her support your friends guys yeah so we had fun obviously my friends as well we've done some tiktoks and stuff like it was just really fun oh my god and later today i've got a shoot basically guys i'm organizing this photo shoot that i've really been meaning to do i want to get back on my photo shoot game like i just realized i don't need to wait to have a milestone to do photo shoots like i really love doing photo shoots like i just want to switch up my quality this year well this year the last six months of this year i really just want to go in like i've been feeling i feel like i'm not doing my best right now and i don't want to get you know comfortable i want to like level up so like i want all my content to just level up like even if that means hiring people that can teach me or just like better it for me that's just what i'm on like i just want to produce quality i know i told you in my last vlog i had laser but they had to swap it so they had to move me up a week so even though i mentioned it in that vlog i didn't actually have my laser that thursday because i don't know they couldn't book me on or whatever so yeah i'm doing that friday i feel like friday something is happening but i can't remember guys my memory is so bad good thing i have a diary just to update guys my journaling is going so well don't want to show you guys too much but guys i was reading like my journal from when i first started journaling and i was like wow girl you kind of go through a roller coaster of emotions and i'm like talking and i'm like wow i am so like tapped like i'll be reading my stuff and then i'll be coming back like i feel fine now da, da, da. and i'm like girl are you all right <laughs> but yeah anyway guys let's go ahead and go to this event because i feel like my car's waiting downstairs and i don't wanna i don't wanna keep them waiting too long so yeah thank you hi guys so i am home now the event was really good like they have some really really exciting um gadgets coming out which i'm really excited for because i hope i get it too always actually such a good brand and it's like it's interesting because you know like when all you know is iphone and when i think about it i don't really use apple products like even my laptop i'd only use it for final cut like i wouldn't use it for anything else like i really hated like in terms of like apple pairing with other devices or pairing with like just using it with other things it's just so annoying because everything has to be apple and it's just so jarring because it's like maybe do you know what i mean like if you if you if you use apple you get what i'm saying but yeah while we have some really exciting things coming out and i'm just really excited for it like even this band six watch i use for my workout and stuff it connects to my phone and currently i have an iphone but if i get whatsapp and anything i can get it on my notifications that go on my phone i can get it on this and it's just so sick i use it in the gym it's waterproof um it tells me how many steps i do it tells me my heart rate like it's so like every product that they've given me is honestly like the quality is amazing do you know what i mean i feel like people just buy apple sometimes because that's all you really know your friend has it your mum has it everyone has it whereas you don't really use all the functions on it do you know what i mean anyway i'm just running on i'm waiting for nicole who is my photographer and basically we're doing a polaroid shoot today and she was literally near my house and she realized she forgot the polaroids 
<laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> Polaroid. Am I saying it right? Polaroids. Yes, yeah, she forgot the Polaroids. <laughs> Polaroid. And you know what? We play so much here. When she told me, I was like, yeah, it's a prank. She was like, Adola, I'm not pranking you. I was like, oh yeah, this is a good prank. She was like, I'm on the underground going back home. And I was like, I really hope this is a prank, but it's not a prank. And I was like, damn. But I'm not mad though. Like, I would rather just wait and like do a late shoot than have to get ready another day, like squeeze another day in that I'm not mentally prepared for. Like mentally, I have to be ready for the stuff that I'm gonna do on the day. The shame. She has finally arrived. 10 okay. p.m. I was, I I was it help. was a prank. And, uh, I was probably I sitting there, there like, oh, guys, you play too much. <laughs> you look really nice there. Thank you. Oh, guys, we're about to start shooting, so we're gonna go. We were on to some good shit. We keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back door. She'll be pulling away from the fire. She go, but I don't even try. Gone in the deep end tonight. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I've just come out of the shower. I'm not really doing much today. Tomorrow is my shoot, so I don't really like. I have a barbecue, but I just I'm just not really in the mood to go out. And guys, I'm not even gonna lie, like, I really just wanted to speak on something because I was thinking about it the other day and I thought like, I feel like what I'm about to say is gonna make no sense, but I'm gonna try really hard for it to make sense. So basically guys, I've been feeling really, really, really like down. Like I can't even explain it. Like even the other day I was driving home from like one of my appointments and I was crying and I was just like, girl are you all right like are you okay and i feel like you know when you don't oh, i just can't even explain it like it's so mad like you feel sad like i was saying it to annie the other day like she was like oh how you know it's like i just feel sad but i can't explain why and i feel like that's just what's really annoying and also i don't like i just don't like really talking to people like sometimes i feel like i want to and then like you know when you, you think about it too much and you're like i don't want to talk to people because i don't want people to think like they need to swab me with like oh you're okay every day like i hate that oh you're okay how are you feeling today like i really hate that like that's not what i'm asking for but sometimes i do just want to talk to someone without them being all around me obviously like not saying that's a bad thing but i just feel like it's just like if you tell your friends you're not really like you're struggling they're gonna feel like they have to be around you all the time and i don't want that so it's like really hard because then i think why why am i talking to people if i don't really want them to help me and then sometimes i do just want to talk to people because i feel like right like you should really talk to someone because you're really like sad bitch and then i just think i I'm, i pump myself up like a hey, cool i'm gonna talk about it i'm gonna like express how i'm feeling and then like my friend will pick up the phone and then like I'm just like acting like I'm fine and it's just like I just can't even bring myself to talk about it and then like like we just start bantering and just start talking about everything is okay but I'm not do you know what I mean and then sometimes I just feel so bad as well because I just feel like you know when you know that you know other people have gone through like you know what they would class as worse like raw like this, I, I could be going through what they're going through and it's just not even on the same level and you just think I have no right to feel how I feel and I think that's what makes it worse because like when I put things into perspective I just think oh I don't know like you have no reason to feel the way that you feel so then it makes me feel even worse because I'm like oh like, why do I feel like this I don't know guys it's really hard but i feel like journaling that's why i feel like journaling has been helping me but then when i read my journals and like stuff that i write i just like why can't i say those things out loud like will i feel better if i say them out loud to people but then i just think what's actually the point because i i 100 know if people were to message me every day and like oh you okay how are you feeling today i would find that really annoying so it's like really really hard i don't know 
but I just I don't know but I feel like I, sh I should share how I feel sometimes because I feel like people always just watch me and think life is sweet and life is sweet I'm not gonna lie but I don't know man I just feel like I don't know what I feel like and then I'm like maybe it's because my period is coming soon maybe that's why I feel like the way I feel I don't know like I really am jealous of people that can really like be like express feelings like I feel like because I don't express feelings it's like it's like so like even like minor things like minor things that I wouldn't care about before literally just like knock me it's really weird and then I get really scared that oh my god like I feel like this now imagine like one day I just get to a point where I'm just like ah oh, like I feel like now I can cope by myself like literally like I'll come home sometimes and when I'm not feeling good like I can just like pet talk myself like have a chilled one by myself and then feel okay but then sometimes I'm like right like imagine that like, one day I do this and it doesn't work do you know what I mean? Like, it's scary. Like, it's literally scary to think how you can actually feel sad for, like, I don't want to say no reason, but, like, no specific reason. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> but, yeah, tomorrow is my shoot. I'm really excited for that. I hope it goes really well. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow. But yeah, before my battery dies, I just wanted to say, guys, yeah, check on your strong friends, make sure they're okay, and don't be too like, are you okay? Are you okay? I feel like sometimes just, you know, just have normal conversation, just show that you're there without being a bit too patronizing. Because I feel like sometimes, are you okay? How are you feeling can be really patronizing, especially for people that don't like to talk about feelings or find it really hard. Um, sometimes you just have to catch them at the right moment for them to like really open up yeah and if anybody is feeling like me or feeling sad or whatever you know sending you lots of love and stuff like that but yeah I'll see you tomorrow guys my battery is about to die <laughs> hey guys so um, I picked up my delivery from my concierge and I feel like if this is what I think it is I really do want to show it to you guys it's a bit later on in the day I'm feeling a bit better you know like I was a bit emotional early I'm not gonna lie to y'all guys I've been picking up some really cute pieces and you know what I'm sad that I'm not really gonna do hauls as much because my hauls I feel like you guys don't really engage with my hauls as much so I'm just gonna be including like bits I get in vlogs now like hauls in vlogs because I think that's just so much better so much more natural at the time that I get it anyway so if you guys do like the hauls and stuff and you do watch my haul videos, they will now be included inside my vlog. So I'm just going to have to watch the vlogs now to see what I'm buying. So I got some stuff from this brand called EBJB Boutique. Never shopped there before, but I just saw some cute pieces. And guys, I do have a holiday coming and I just hope, fingers crossed, that you go because I just want to create such a sick vlog. Like... Guys, my plan before this whole COVID stuff was just to go around different countries, living my best life, and vlogging, doing different cultures, trying out different things. Like, that was my whole vibe. And then COVID wanted to say no. COVID wanted to say no. That's fine. Slowly, wherever we can go, we'll see what happens. So I've just been picking up some holiday bits. Anyway, it's getting hot in the UK as well, so... I'm gonna be wearing them here too if I don't go. I'm not gonna try them on because I feel like I still need to get gassed when you see me wear these stuff on the ground, you know? So I got this really cute dress. I think this is a whole neck. Yes, guys, I got this whole neck dress. Are you seeing the vibes? Don't play with me. Back is open. The color blue is just so nice. It's just giving me the vibes, girl. It's giving me the vibes, honey. It's looking tropical. It's looking on an island. It's looking sipping. What's your cocktail order, baby? Um, sex on the beach. Oh my gosh, apparently sex on the beach is childish. So what did I say? My new favorite one. My new favorite cocktail is again because I wanted a porn star martini. It's more grown. 
home star martini please guys i can't wait to wear this i'm gonna try it on off camera guys the day that i'm going i'm gonna like i need to go shopping one of these weeks because i want to get some stuff to just bring all my outfits together i'm just gonna get some accessories like heels bags jewelry belts glasses and i need to find a day i'm gonna ask one of my friends to come with me as well just to go into london once i've done all my outfits so i know what else i need to like bring the looks together you know oh i also got this um is this a this is like a midi dress it's gonna it should be tight and the back is open and it's like a total neck a bit i feel like this will be such a good look with your hair in a ponytail or something it's given class especially if it's figure hugging as i'm hoping it will be part of me is thinking i should have got the smallest size. i've got another hot neck dress but in black open back again because i just, i cross i feel like everyone needs a cute black dress that they can like put some jewelry on like some nice colored heels like yeah oh god you really went you really went off with this dress in it got another one in green I just really love these kind of dresses. I just feel like it's just gonna be so cute on summer with a nice tote bag. Oh yeah, and I've got this two piece, which the top is like this. So, turtle neck, crop top, you tie it round. And it also came with this skirt. I feel like this will also be a really cute look oh, with like a long braided ponytail or something. But yeah, that's just it, what I got from this boutique. I will list the company below. I believe it's a UK brand as well. Ordered, I ordered it like the other day. It came so quickly in like two days. So yeah, watch out for the looks on my gram. I haven't been posting on Instagram in ages. I've just been collecting looks. Um, I'm nearly done with my holiday looks. Like I said, I just need to get the accessories. I might plan a day next week to go shopping. Yeah but yeah hey guys so it's the day of my shoot um so imagine guys i had to, my shoot is at two o'clock but i had to go get my makeup done from eight in the morning so this is makeup got done i got to hers at 7 40 and then i got back home at like just before nine and i literally just been laying on my bed like this because i've been trying not to mess up my makeup because my makeup artist had a um bride like a wedding day to shoot so she kind of has an all day shoe so the only time she could fit me in was like mad early and I really wanted her to beat my face. I got some new um, curlers, the baby bliss one, this one, like the ones I have before were so old. I really wanted the one with the thong, the one with the thong. The one with the thong. And it looks like I didn't, but I really like these curlers, it kind of gives off that. Um, I've done this side. I haven't brushed it out yet. But yeah, I'm just trying to do the other side. Do you guys have one side of your hair where you can curl better than the other? Like, I literally struggle with my left side. Is this my left side? No, I struggle with my right side. Guys, we're at the studio now. This is it. We're at the studio now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're we're now. Guys, I'm really nervous and I don't know why. <laughs> Tell me why. Why are you always nervous? I've like, actually been shooting for like years now. Come uh, on. No, but I feel like normally I don't get nervous, but for some reason today I am. Um, Is it because it's in the studio? Maybe, and it's been a long time. Okay. But I'm going to take like some close up shots as well. Oh, bro, they proper have developed. Tonight, tonight. I just want to love you. I just want to love you. so i've just got home from the shoot sorry if i'm looking a bit oily and a bit crazy we went to get some food and i'm really happy with how the shoot went like i'm really happy i done it obviously in the beginning i was feeling a bit nervous but i just feel like it's because i haven't had a shoot in so long and i feel like i haven't really been feeling that confident and then obviously like you know like i kind of forgot if i still had it or not and but i'm really happy with how the pictures came out and nicole the photographer and um, sean like he was doing a bit of creative directing just made it so 
easy and it just made me feel like a bad bee like it's so crazy how like i don't know just doing a whole photo shoot you know just feeling pretty like taking some pretty content can just like boost your spirit just have you feeling like i'm that girl i'm trying to stop singing b like i'm really trying to stop saying it because why is it so part of my vocabulary like this um yeah like it just made me feel good like i feel happy this is like me breaking back into making content because guys i have not been doing the content that i should be doing like i've fallen off but yeah that was just kind of like to get me back into it just obviously not photo shoot content i might just do that whenever you know i feel like i i need another boost but yeah i need to go back to doing you guys probably would have seen the pictures by the time that this vlog goes out so make sure you show me extra love on it and you comment on them and you let me know what you think so i'll see you i'll see you soon i don't know maybe tomorrow maybe the next day i don't know but i'll see you guys oh my god guys can i just really say yeah i got this message on instagram and it just made me feel so happy like i'm not gonna lie i don't um reply to my dms on instagram because it's just a lot i feel like the way instagram do it like it will come out of your request and then go into like your main insta and then your like your inbox can just get so messy but i do read a lot of them and i literally I like i reply out loud in my head but i just feel like sometimes you know you just get certain messages at just like a perfect time and you're just like oh thank you like that was just so nice of you to say that like it means a lot right now do you know what i mean so this girl messaged me literally just saying hey i just wanted to message you to tell you that i love your content and tiktoks you come across so funny and pure-hearted i'm thankful for you as you always make my day i also love your youtube as it is so honest and i feel like it's a safe place for people who have struggles and i'm just really thankful for you you are so helpful i'm just thankful and i was just like wow like thank you like thank you actually like means so much so nice to hear but anyway guys yeah i'm gonna go now i'm just like just you know just hair um but yeah i'm gonna go now guys bust me down you the same time nigga that was running me down rule number one to be a bust ass bitch never let a clown nigga try to play you and if you play you then rule number two fuck his best friends and make them yes ma'am Guys, I just come back from the gym. And I'm feeling good, honey. Woo. I might go shopping today, I might not. Depends, it's a bit hot. Oh, am I gonna go shopping? I might not. No, I'm gonna try on all my holiday fits and uh, write down what accessories I need with each of them today. That's the plan for today. Guys, I'm on my way to my dentist appointment. It's so hot here in the UK, like it's actually a joke. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot I was talking out loud because I have headphones and I thought everyone else around me can't hear me. <laughs> but guys, you know when it's... Okay, that's absolutely fun. But guys, you know when the weather is like this, there's no reason for you to be in an unhappy relationship. I feel like when the sun is out, I mean, there's no reason for people to settle anyway, but I just feel like when the sun is out this is even a bigger sign for you to leave that man or that woman that is weighing you down do you know what i mean i'm just trying to bear shit but i don't know like when the sun is out it just makes me happy it makes me grateful you know it's just a beautiful day leave that man that's cheating on you for the fifth time and he's saying he's gonna change. He's not. That man that hasn't touched you in five days or three days because he's busy, he's not. The man that doesn't tell you you look nice and you look cute, he's rude. 
but anyway yeah uh, I'm about to get to my appointment so I should really go been good thank you have you been yeah oh my god that's good I'm so hot yeah. yeah, I feel like I always get nervous to come to the dentist. Don't show it. Don't I? I try yeah. to just pretend that I'm really nervous. Really? Yeah. Oh, you'll be fine. You were fine last time, wasn't you? Yeah, it's you'll really fine today. Yeah. You'll be fine today. Shut your ears. Soft tissues and your gums, okay? You've got the questions that you know. Oh my god, guys, it's so hot. So I've just come back from my dentist appointment, which went so well. Like, I'm so, like, it was just. Not that it hurts, like, but I just want to tell you guys, when I first went to the hygienist, but, like, found her, like, she was like, oh, your gums are so swollen. And I was like, really? She was like, yeah, you need to, um, what did she tell me? Oh, let me find it. She was like, how you need to floss right up to your gums. Now, obviously, I used to floss, but I'll just use either, like, a water floss or, you know, the string ones. And she was like, no, you need to use the TPs, which look like this. You need to, like, take it, like, literally, when I do it, like, I put it right up into my gums, and then that cleans all the plaque from your gums and stuff, so it doesn't build up and cause, like, swollen gums, which can cause gum disease and stuff like that. So, like, when I heard that, I was like, oh, my God, but I brush my teeth twice a day, and I use mouthwash, and I brush it. And she was like, yeah, no, I need to use an electric, because I wasn't using an electric toothbrush before. I use an electric toothbrush, and I use a normal toothbrush, even brushing my teeth twice a day and all of that, like, you need to really look after your gums so like ever since then i've been using it and stuff and honestly it's actually because when she that's what we were talking about because she was like when she first saw me she was like oh don't worry it's gonna get better because obviously i book like i always book ahead for my hygienist so like i'm always seeing her three months she was like don't worry you see me every three months and me also like cleaning my gums a lot better i'm gonna see such an improvement and you know when people say that i just think oh yeah whatever that's the same with my facial ladies she was like don't worry you're gonna see such an improvement i'm always like oh, yeah whatever it just seems like you're not going to but yeah like today she was like oh my god your gums are good like they're butter they're a lot pinker they're this they're that and i was like bitch don't gas me but um yeah guys make sure you book your hygienist because you might be thinking your teeth your mouth is all healthy and shit next thing you know they look into your gums and they're like bitch but yeah enough of that i'm about to go to my body school alexa what's the time the time is 3 33 p.m yeah i need to go guys oh my god like time is just getting ahead of me but I'm about to go to my body sculpting. I'm really so excited because I told you guys I know it's a difference in my way. So every time I see her, I get fucking excited. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you see me busting my holiday pictures in my bikini, skinning out, just know your girl is gassed. Of course I'm gassed. Oh my God, guys, let me tell you a quick story time or something that happened to me, yeah? So I was walking, minding my business. I was even doing an Insta story. And then this girl, well not this girl this woman obviously her kids were playing and they were playing with a scooter but they was like pushing the scooter but they wasn't actually riding the scooter so tell me why this child pushed like obviously i've walked past he's pushed his scooter and the scooter has hit me on the back of my foot and it actually hurt and i turned around and i looked at my foot and i looked up and then i saw it was the kid and obviously it's like a kid i'm not gonna say anything to a kid and then I looked at the mum and the mum was like, careful. And I thought, hello, you're saying careful, but bitch, my foot, like at least apologize on behalf of your, your child that you have on the other side doing this nonsense. And he's hurting people, civilians on the street. Now my foot, my foot, you don't know what damage it's done. You didn't even apologize. And I just find stuff like that so awkward because you know when it's someone else's child, of course I'm not going to say anything to someone else's child. And then when it's a mother, like, I'm not gonna say anything to a mother like excuse me you know your son just or like excuse me can you can you watch your kids i think that's so rude oh my god is that a rude thing to say obviously i'm not a mother so i don't know but i just feel like as a mother if someone else another woman was to say to you oh watch your kids that's so rude or like excuse me are you not gonna apologize your son just hit my the back of my foot with his scooter you just never know like oh i don't know i just thought let me not 
I just thought, okay, cool, rude. You could have at least apologized. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, enough chit chat. Oh, I'm just doing it because I can't be bothered with the drive. But I'll probably see you guys tomorrow or something because, oh yeah, tomorrow I've got a facial. Oh no, I will vlog that facial because we're stopping with the chemical pills. So I can talk about that because it's a bit different. But I'll talk to you guys about that tomorrow. So I'm out for today, gonna get sculpted and yeah good morning guys so it's the next day clearly i'm on my way to my facial appointment like i said i don't know what i'm having done but i just wanted to give you a close-up of my face guys i burnt my face with a lighter yeah a bitch just is so careless but yeah guys i'm on my way to my facial i'm even running late oh god guys i know why i've been so emotional because my period's here it happens every time like how does it get me every time like because i always like to believe it's not my period but it really is my it really be my period really be having me fucked up like and i feel like as i'm getting older it gets worse like literally emotional like literally like i never used to get like this but now i swear to god the week before my period the the most littlest thing like someone could just be like and i will feel so fucking sad like what oh, this is mad i i don't my skin is doing good. I burnt my face though. With what? A lighter. A lighter? Yeah. But it's really small and I know it's gonna go really soon. It's just like here. But what that's... Do you mean with the lighter? Because I had the lighter in my hand and I forgot it was in my hand and I just lit my candle and then I went like, I don't know what I done. I went to go down with my hand. Are the lashes on you? No. But I don't want them to get ruined. Okay. <laughs> yeah guys anytime i come with my lashes i can't do the what's it called oh uh, no i can do the steaming oh, you're doing it's steaming. just the eye thing i can't do you know when you put the glasses on my eye yes yeah, so i have my glasses with the steam because the steam will um the glue will soften the the, the steam will soften the glue no steaming is fine uh, how? because i steam i steam you any steam your face yeah in the shower It's the same thing, no, but... No, it's not the same thing. The, but I want the steam. I just don't want the glasses. It's not the same thing. It really is. No, my shower steam is even hot. It's more steamy. Okay, I'll do it for two seconds. But if your lashes fall off, don't be upset, yeah? Okay. Don't, don't be like, oh, she, she thingy my lashes. I don't she ruined my she lashes. She ruined my lashes. Guys, yeah, don't book your facials when you have a fresh set of lashes. You ready? Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Do it when your lashes are a bit... Yeah, like when you're, before, about, to, when you're about to, to have your infill or yeah. anything like that. Because you see, and they're long. Because look, they're already getting caught a bit here. That's fine. So okay. what is your next infill for this? Well, because I'm going on holiday soon. I'm what trying to... Oh, well... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going... That's brave. I know. Yeah. At least you get to leave and stuff. Yeah. I think you're number six person that's going that so does this luck. hurt no no nope okay that's good so hot knit oh yeah guys so we're doing derma planning today which yeah you guys just i don't feel like i need to tell you what derma planning is i think you've done it before yeah is that where you shave my face a bit yeah oh, i need that <gasps> oh my god this girl joking <laughs> Why you do that to me all the time and you know i fall for it Every all the time. time guys and we are done skin is glowing um guys we was having a conversation about doing the harsher chemical peel and but we're thinking to do that in like september because that one like your skin actually really really peels and she thinks that i my lifestyle is not cut out for that right now <laughs> so hopefully i can have a peeling skin in like september and ghost for like a month or so but, yeah, but we'll really see yeah. but yeah i got done and planning my skin feels good Ooh. My new suitcases have arrived. 
I bought some new suitcases from Trip because my suitcase, it was like a medium sized suitcase and I actually can't fit stuff in it. It just, it just wasn't really a practical suitcase so I bought a new one because like I said to you guys, I do want to go on holiday soon. Um, and Trip was having a sale so let me tell you how much. I got three suitcases for £182.50 yeah £182.50 for three suitcases which I think is a, a really good deal but let's see the suitcase and see if they're cute I don't know if that, I'm actually wet. so I've got two large suitcases and um, a cabin suitcase Guys, this is actually big. Never let a come nigga try to play you if he begs you. Oh, they put the other suitcase in here. Okay. Oh yeah, and I got some tags. The avocado. Thanks. So I got tags as well for all three suitcases. So you open it. Oh yeah, so it was 182 pounds for three tags and three suitcases because I actually paid for these as well so it wasn't just 182 pounds for the suitcase so this is the tags so you tag it on your suitcase through this and then you open it oh, and you can put your details on there so I'm not gonna lie guys I used to not do stuff like that on my suitcase I'm so hot I never used to do stuff like that on my suitcase and I think I'm kind of risking it because if I lost my suitcase now, I would really regret it. So I need to actually grow up. Ooh, this suitcase is... Oh, and it comes with padlocks. Oh, and I was even going to buy padlocks, but it comes with padlocks already. Oh, I love this. So guys, I've just finished getting ready. Well, not really getting ready because I really didn't do much to go and have some drinks with Maz. The outfit is very casual today because I just wanted to be comfortable. Oh yeah, and I can't, I, can't, I didn't really want to wear makeup because obviously I had my facial yesterday. So I'm trying to keep my face fresh just so, you know, you just know how it goes, innit? A break is needed once again. I'm just wearing a crop top from a Pretty Little Thing. These jeans are also from Pretty Little Thing. I'm wearing my Balenciaga tracks um, and my misguided oversized blazer with my Prada bag. Um, I can't remember where this scarf is from. Oh, it's really annoying sometimes when I can't remember where stuff where it's stuff from. But yeah, I just put a scarf on as well because I don't really want hair all up in my face either. So yeah, I'm about to go to Maz's house um, and then me and Maz are going to go together because she lives closer to the restaurant. So uh, yeah, let's go. Guys, I'm at Maz's now. Guys, look at this. Like, she actually kept it. She's such a holder, guys. She looks cute. Hey, guys. You look really cute. Thanks, babe. I wanted to get ice cream first content because I'm really behind. So. Oh, okay. Can I do an outfit of the day on you? What does that mean? I'll show them what you're wearing because you look really cute. Okay, yeah, I'll do it when I've got my chainers on then. Okay, guys, she looks really cute. Look, so let, right, let me show my outfit. Oh, okay. So this is what I'm wearing. I've had this for a very long time. Um, Where is it from? Okay, the corset, the corset is Ice Rope Burst, um, okay. about a year ago. But this is new in, and these tra these jeans, I love them, the Money Poet jeans. And what about the hair? It's really um, cute. RPG show, and I curled it with the... Um, did it come this colour? Yeah. Okay, so basically, Adiola um, showed me this YouTube couple. Yeah. And um, and basically, show me this YouTube couple, right? And um, basically, they'll break it. Well, they broke up, right? They broke up, right? Because of a no, prank. They, well, they separated. They, they say, yeah, they, but I don't believe it. Basically, guys, you know when YouTube couples like do mad pranks on each other and then they, the other wait, person. Wait, wait, how did you get your set in like that? I don't know. Why is mine so zoomed in? I'm <laughs> I probably change. I'll do it another time. I'm doing um, but yeah. Um, so you show me you just couple. They, they do prank, prank each, each other, other, and then yeah. the other basically the guy's basically acting like he she took the prank too far, and he's not talking to her. So the <laughs> girl's done a sorry you? video on YouTube. And do you know why it's so funny? Because like I've been told they've been together for six years. Why are they going on YouTube and like? It's just, it's just a weird concept. I'm just thinking, like, guys, it's actually a thing. Like, 
if it's not a prank and then it's like this is their real relationship yeah. you're replying like you're not messaging each other you're yeah. replying by, by YouTube, YouTube. And that's weird because I was, I and was, they have a house together, and they have family. Wouldn't it, and my thing is, guys, she, guys, it was two days. She had, he hadn't been in the house for two days, so then she made a YouTube video. Like, well, when, I just why think it's all like for me. I actually genuinely think it's all entertainment, like reality TV. I think this must all be scripted because I can't believe that someone would do that. that. And what makes it even madder is, guys, their parents, the brother and the brother, pranked as well. It's a bit much. It's a lot going a on lot. in that one prank. But like, our reaction was a lot funny. Like, we, we was just we like busting up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Guys, do you think YouTube couples are just taking it a bit too far these yeah, days? Yeah, I or? think they. I don't really watch YouTube couples. Anymore. I do because I just always like think like, wow, you lot are really like proper. Like to show like mm. normal like what you guys do. It's crazy. But my thing is, yeah, I feel like sometimes it's a bit much when like they're doing so much reviews. Like yeah, like not to drop names, but the Ace Family. Do you think I don't really a bit watch much, them. But I always see opinion. people talking. Them, but I don't actually watch yeah, them. Yeah, like some of their stuff they do, I think it's just like, it just seems a bit too forced. Mm, and it's like, this is your family. Yeah. Like. Oh my god, we've been them people. I know. <laughs> 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 oh my oh days. God. But oh. guys, it's just so mad. But anyway, this is, an I think it's actually, I just see it always entertainment. Yeah. I don't watch it like, oh, I believe they're actually it. breaking up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I get so invested, so I kind of see it. Oh my god. But yeah, it's, he would do that on you online though. But then again, people come and do makeup videos. And maybe all everyone in their personal life and everyone knows it's all fake anyway. Yeah, that's true. It's just a bit And we're just like cust like just viewers, like we have ET we just watch and just go with whatever and they Same. get to do their thing. Yeah guys. We're just waiting for the tech. Oh my god. You wasn't recording oh, all that time. I feel like I was, but I feel like it just turned off. <laughs> I, I, do you guys see why I, I struggle? Like, <laughs> so guys, if you don't see this clip in any part of Mazza's vlog, she basically wasn't filming. Well, I feel like I had a little bit. I've got 36 minutes left to film in, but I feel that's enough for the whole day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> guys, me and Mazza have just been seeing it. I just like, it's very like, a lot going on right now. So we finished our drink and we just decided to go for like a walk yeah. around Canary. Like it's so pretty when you like, I feel I used to do this with my mum when I was younger. Really? Just go for walk? Yeah, because she used to work in like the city. Oh, this is so cute. Look at people It's just a vibe. Just I feel vibe. like I'm on holiday. Like there's kids playing out. Yeah. Guys, make the sure sun. you go for walks, you know. Yeah, and just take it in. And just take everything in, take in your surroundings, take in the air, like like even like breathing the air, doesn't it just feel so like it feels like summer. Yeah, like it feels like, like, it feels like, like good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> like you can smell the good vibes. It's mad, it's guys. Good like, vibes. It's that's like when they say get at one with nature. Like yeah, you know what I mean. Like, I feel like yeah. at one with the world right no, now. No, I get it. Like it's just it's just nice. It's just nice. It is. So guys, you just, there, though. I don't even take out my camera with this fucking. Mug <laughs> She's got. <laughs> She's got some fat mic, like oh. a news reporter. Yeah. But yeah, guys, we're just gonna go attention. for a walk and explore. <laughs> guys, basically, me and Mariam decided that the night was still young and we went to another bar. Now, no sleep. Another, another bar. bar. <laughs> So guys, we're just gonna keep on getting lit. Basically guys, me and Maz do this thing where we order each other's drinks. Yeah. And we're quite good at it. Yeah. yeah so I, because I struggle sometimes to try new drinks for what I want. So Maz has been choosing my drinks and I've been choosing her drinks. And so far we've been liking each other's drinks. I, I feel like you're gonna like, I hope you like this nice thing. Oh yeah, like I, I hope you like this. I didn't really try much with it. Did you? No. Neither. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use big words, yeah. Because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out What's going on in your heart What's it gonna take for you to love Take for you to love 
Because we're just trying to act now. 28, we're just trying to act like we're on holiday yeah, and like just doing you've vibes. just finished on the strip and now you're walking back to your hotel. Yeah, it's been a good night guys. Like we've just chatted, we've just enjoyed like enjoying life. Enjoy life. life. It's like, it's just, good. Yeah, and talking about our dreams and hopes, hopes and, and the future plans. Yeah, and <laughs> fantasies. And naughty fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's just fun, it's so good. and the yeah. weather's so nice. It's like it's dark and it's but it's it's warm. It's, yeah, it's, 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 not, it's not cold. cold. It's like a nice breeze. Like you want to stay outside. Yeah, you want to. You feel like I feel like we're about to go to the club. Yeah, like we're about to go home to our hotel, change and then come back out yeah. again. Yeah, guys, London is actually lit. It's lit. You just need to go to the right, right, places, right places with the right vibe. It's okay. It's so oh, it's we're going, going left. This way, but if we had gone down that way but I don't think you can actually walk down yeah, that way yeah I think that's the actually motorway, motorway yeah. did you put walking in this or did you put car yeah this is walking oh, okay, car cool. would be yeah cars five minutes okay so. yeah oh yeah that's true but oh um, all we hear is I can hear the blue lights <laughs> <laughs> what's the song them traffic lights look at the under this oh, always please. reminds me of Annie Ring the alarm. I've been really I've been down, never learned. I've been in your arm. Wait, Miles, where does that go to you down there? Oh, you have to walk through the back. Yeah, basically. Okay, guys. So, yeah, we're going to carry on with our walk yeah. and we'll see you when we make it. We'll make it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Guys, so I made it home. We actually didn't walk. Like, literally right after that vlog, we walked for, like, two more steps. And then we were like, why are we walking home? It's literally midnight. What are we doing? Like, you know when you just deep, something is not that deep. Like, it would have been nice. Like, it sounded good and the weather was lit. But let's actually deep what we're doing. We don't need to walk home. So, yeah. We both called our Ubers and now we're home. Guys, it was such a good night, you know? You know those random nights where you just go out with your girl? It's just such a vibe, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so lit. I'm so lit. You know, those random nights, no makeup, nothing, just feel fresh, trainers, no heels. It was, it was really nice, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. And then, yeah. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, sorry if I look crazy. Um, I've just got to my hair appointment for my natural hair. I'm about to have my treatment. It's been a little bit over a month because my hairstylist um, was away off work for a bit, but she's back now. So I can finally get my treatment, which I'm excited for. I'm thinking that I might actually straight have my hair straightened. She does this treatment where it's like, you can have your hair straight for three months um, and it still, it doesn't stop your hair from being natural or anything. It's not like relaxed or anything like that. So I'm thinking I might do that because I want to I kind of want to start adventuring out a bit with like doing different hairstyles with my hair I, I think I want to see if I can do like different hairstyles and stuff when I'm on holiday and stuff not everyday wig I'm honestly over the whole wig I mean my wigs are cute I'm not gonna lie but you know I'm gonna have options so yeah we'll see but yeah let me go ahead and go in guys it's so hot today I think I might do the straightening thing oh the three months straightening yeah, thing yeah just because like it's getting hot Hot now, and stuff. Yeah, I yeah. feel like sometimes I just want to do something with yeah, my well, hair yeah just put it in the bar yeah just experiment just, yeah. so I think I might do that but do you want to do that today? yeah yeah okay or do you yeah. think I should come back and do it? no no you can do it today oh, okay. but it's a longer process though oh okay. do you have time? yeah it's, it's going to take a couple about 
done the bespoke treatment with the aloe vera so we still we still did that treatment and then once we finish that treatment then we're gonna do the um, straightening treatment so I am still looking after my natural hair just um, switching it up a little bit you know but um, I'll show you guys once we're starting the straightening because you guys have seen the bespoke treatment I've put it in a few vlogs before so yeah still getting nowhere yeah if winter blows here, baby, I fear we gon' disappear Do you even want me? Do you even worry that I'm gonna love somebody else? So you think about me when you're feeling lonely? Uh, I feel great. <laughs> yeah, it does give you a mature kind of, like, feeling about yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It does. keep my hair like this obviously like you know it's been styled it's been straightened or whatever but I just don't know like you know you're just not used to something I think that's where I am right now and you guys know like my forehead is a big insecurity of mine and I just feel like I just you know it's making my head look big or whatever but but then another part of me really likes here and I'm like I love my hair like I love my hair it's just my forehead for me it's my insecurity for me and i just need to like get over it it's so crazy because like i can oh it's just so annoying like you know it's just like a, it's just an ongoing battle in it like i feel like insecure having insecurities is just so jarring oh guys it's just so nice though to have your natural hair out like and I really like, one, I told you guys, obviously my main concern was to like, make sure my natural hair is healthy and grow it and stuff, especially since I cut it, like I told you guys. And also I do want to get to a point where like, when my hair is long enough, like I could do like different styles of it, like maybe even just put like a couple tracks in it if I wanted to make it longer or fuller, but like just get into like more of a habit of being out with my natural hair, like, I just really really want to do that because i love like st hairstyles that like, i see people doing like just putting your hair up in a bun like your own bun and going on holiday and just being carefree and enjoying yourself yeah so i'm really trying to like you know take action into like getting into that direction but obviously like i said like my my forehead is a big insecurity of mine and i feel like that's the only thing that really you know stops me and i don't like the fact that you know obviously it's all well and good like looking nice and like saying i'm the baddest bee and just like you know like gassing myself up but i still want to I want to feel exactly how I feel when I have my wig on and all of that. I want to feel exactly that confidence in my natural self, like, and that's in, like, no makeup, hair, like, obviously you guys have been on me with my skin journey and I feel like my skin isn't where I want it to be, but I've obviously got to a place where, like, I'm a lot more confident in my skin and stuff. Yeah, it's, like, on the right track. Same with my hair as well, like, my hair's healthy, it's growing. Like, even though I don't have length, like, I don't really mind that. Like, I still love the whole bobby look and I could add, like, length if I wanted to. I could do, like, ponytails and stuff, but it's just my forehead, guys. Like, insecurity is a bitch. Like, who even, who even said that having a big forehead is a bad thing? It's not. Like, it's just in your head like so yeah anyway i have an event tomorrow so we'll see if i keep the hair out or if i put my wig back on <sighs> guys it's so annoying because i think it's so cute but i just feel like when i go out i'm just gonna be all like shy i don't know it's really bad but i'm i'm happy because you know i'm taking the steps like i didn't tell her to camera it so i'm taking the steps into you know building my confidence i mean i know i had a bit last year but that was in lockdown and no one really saw me it wasn't like i really went out out in it but yeah i'm trying i'm trying guys i'm trying but let me know what you guys think obviously like we've just styled it like this for now guys and it really moves like she shakes and that like she moves and i'm like oh damn 
bitch like look at that hair look at that volume i thought my hair was flat i thought i wasn't gonna have any volume but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here <sighs> yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here sorry guys i'm just like can't believe this is like my hair right now let me know what you guys think and also guys make sure i can't recommend her enough she's so sweet as well and like she really helps me as well she's like girl like she's she thinks i'm crazy like she's like your forehead isn't even anything like it suits you you're pretty all of this but i feel like once you have something in your head yourself it's hard to kind of like unsee it because you kind of just see that and you feel like everybody else is looking exactly at your insecurity. I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. I said I was just looking at myself because I'm like, oh my god, is this really your hair? Like, anyway, I'm dragging it in it. I really should go now. But guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Find out in my next vlog if she goes to the event with the wig or without. <laughs> I just don't know what I'm gonna do to you. Like, I could, like, no, I'm not calm. I could do it calm. Tomorrow, you just never know. I'm a Libra, you just never know. But I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye, guys. Baby, 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 baby